Even though dogs are considered man's best friend, but that tune can change quickly when these animals attack a human being. The truth is, any dog can attack you. From the 6-pound Chihuahua to the 180-pound Saint Bernard, no dog breed comes with a 100% guarantee that it will not attack. However, the vast majority of dog attacks come from dogs that have not been well socialized. These are powerful dogs, and they can be wary of strangers, so they need to be socialized early. This means that an improperly socialized Chihuahua is more likely to attack than a well-socialized pit bull terrier. It's no small wonder that 4 million people are bitten by dogs each year. That's why we came up with the list of the most dangerous and most banned dog breeds. For this year based on the breeds that bite most often as well as which breeds have the most fatal attacks attributed to them. But they are not just big brutes. These breeds are highly intelligent, not easy to train, and they are highly aggressive. So let's start your daily dose of good vibes. Number 10. Akita. The Akita is a large, powerful dog with a decidedly sturdy appearance. Being only slightly longer than he is tall, the Akita's appearance is well balanced. The full, curled tail is proportionate with the large head. The male Akita stands between 26 and 28 inches. The female is between 24 and 26 inches. The broad chest and neck of the Akita serve as a solid base for the large head and it does share a powerful bite. With the bite force 350 to 400 pounds per square inch, the Akita has small eyes and erect ears, giving the breed a very dignified expression. The body is muscular and the legs are straight and strong. The Akita was never bred to live or work in groups, rather to be alone or in a pair. Today's Akita reflects that breeding. Akita is happy to be an only dog. They are alert, intelligent, and courageous. They tend to be aggressive toward other dogs, especially those of the same sex. They are best suited to a one-dog household. Properly socialized, an Akita can learn to tolerate other animals, but will most likely try to keep his status as top dog at any cost. Wait if you are new on my channel just subscribe to my channel. Because I create weekly videos on animal and pets. That might helpful for you. Number 9. Dogo Argentino. This attractive white dog was bred from a fighting breed, but was also mixed with mellow dogs like the Irish Wolfhound Ant. Great Dane to develop a strong animal that could hunt boar and puma. The only people who use the Dogo Argentino for fighting are doing so illegally. Dogo Argentino has a broad skull, large head, athletic muscular body and low set tail. The Dogo Argentino originated in Argentina. The reason it is banned is due to its strong and dominant temperament. This breed is also banned at national level. Dogo Argentino is an intelligent, powerful and stubborn dog. It is not suitable for inexperienced owners. Dogo Argentino requires a strong, firm and consistent owner that behaves like a true leader of the pack. Dogo Argentino has a strong hunting instinct which cannot be easily controlled. Even though it rarely shows aggression toward humans, Dogo Argentino is banned in several countries because of the aggressive behavior toward other animals. Number 8. Sharpe. The Sharpe has a regal, independent personality and makes a great watchdog. However, like many other dogs bred for hunting or fighting, this breed can also be stubborn and territorial. Without proper socialization, they often become aloof or unfriendly to strangers. As a good guardian dog, this breed can be very territorial and being standoffish with strangers. The Sharpe have tremendously strong jaws and could crush the bones of their opposition dogs since they were bred initially as guard dogs. They have a strong bite pound force of 220 pounds per square inch. Number 7. Kangle Dog. Hey stop stop. If you don't want to adopt these dangerous dogs. So don't worry you can adopt the small dogs because these are easy to train. And not harmful for your family you can just click on the i button and watch the smallest dogs breeds. Let's continue the video. The Kangal dog is a large dog with a heavy bone structure. Its size has developed as a result of its use as a working dog. While some breeds such as the Pitbull have a reputation for having a strong bite, they've got nothing on the Kangal. The Pitbull's bite force measures around 235 pounds per square inch, while a Kangal bite force measures in at 700 pounds per square inch, triple that of a Pitbull. As working dogs, they will patrol their property while protecting livestock. Dogs that are kept with a family, rather than as working dogs need mental stimulation or they will become harder to handle. Regular walks or runs, as well as socialization off their property, are important to keep them fit and stimulated. 
Kangal dogs may be aggressive towards other dogs, particularly stray or wandering dogs that they are not familiar with. These dogs will often take a three-phase approach to deal with predators. At first, they intimidate the intruder by barking and growling. If that doesn't work, the barking will turn into a great roar. Finally, the Kangal will attack. Number 6. Bully Kuda. They can be a dangerous breed if not controlled and raised right. They need a dominant strong owner. Not an aggressive owner, but a strong-willed owner whom they can respect. Bully Kuda came from Indian Mastiffs that were crossbred with the British Mastiffs brought over by British imperialists. In modern times, there are multiple versions of the Bully Dog, because each part of the Indian subcontinent under British rule had its own particular preferences. Regardless, Bully Dogs are very much working dogs. For example, they saw a fair amount of use as guard dogs. However, there were plenty of Bully Dog owners who used them for hunting as well. This breed was initially bred to fight animals as large as wild boar and bears. Today, the Bully Kuda is particularly popular in Asia for illegal dogfighting. Given the nature of their duties, it should come as no surprise to learn that Bully Dogs can be aggressive towards other dogs as well as other animals. As a result, they are not good fits for multi-pet households. For that matter, they are not good fits for families with young children. Number 5. Wolf Hybrid. While some wolf hybrids are docile and non-aggressive, a higher percentage of wolf hybrids are likely to be dangerous and prone to attack humans and other animals. In fact, dog bite statistics show that wolf dogs hold the sixth position in dog bite fatalities by breed. The wolf hybrid will make a better guard dog. The wolf dog breed has a strong bite force due to being a mix between the wolf and domestic dogs. As they are a mix of the two, they can be more dangerous than the average breed dot with a bite force of 406 pounds per square inch. Some people say that can we trust wolf dogs? The answer is clearly no. Wolves and wolf dog hybrids can be too dangerous to be treated as ordinary pets. Wolves in captivity are unpredictable and can never be completely trusted around people. Wolves are wild animals and have never been domesticated as a species. Wolf dog hybrids are becoming increasingly popular as household pets. But the rise in their sales in the United Kingdom and recent reports of escaped hybrids killing small dogs and threatening humans in the United States have renewed concerns about whether or not these animals should continue to be bred and sold to the public. Wolf dog hybrids are interesting and intelligent animals. They are produced by breeding a wolf with any of a variety of domestic dogs, including Akitas, German Shepherds, Alaskan Malamutes, and Huskies. Number 4. Fila Bristoleru. The Fila has a primitive instinct to protect and can become very antisocial if not trained properly during its prime development years. It is known to protect its home, owners, and any family, meaning unknown visitors must never be left alone with the dog. The Fila Bristoleru temperament also has an aggressive nature, with a bite force of 238 pounds per square inch. Fila Bristoleras have been characterized as being wary of strangers, and in certain circumstances this factor promotes aggressive behavior. They can be aloof around strangers and do not like to be petted by people whom they do not know. These behaviors are often interpreted as aggression. Number 3. Rottweiler. When calculating the number of reported bites per breed, Rottweilers are approximately 10 times more likely to kill or mangle someone than the average dog dot with the bite force of 305 pounds of pressure, this dog has an excessively strong jaw. However, they are often calm and reserved while still being courageous. Typically, they can weigh 130 pounds or more they also are more likely to kill other animals than the average dog. Some owners are drawn to the Rottweiler because they want an imposing protective dog. By nature, the Rottweiler is a protective dog that was initially bred to watch over cattle. This innate protectiveness is what makes Rotties great watchdogs and police dogs. You've probably seen Rottweilers featured in TV shows and movies where they're chasing down criminals or attacking intruders. Because this breed is known to be a great protector and amazing service dog, many people assume all Rotties are dangerous, which simply isn't true. Because the aggressive nature depends on his training. Before getting a Rottweiler, be sure you have the time available to train your dog and to take it on at least two long walks a day. You should also have a place your dog can run and play which ideally would be a large, fenced yard. Number 2. Can a Corso. Because of their strength and size, these dogs can be very dangerous unless socialized or if mistreated. This can potentially cause a lot of issues for not just a Can a Corso owner, but also for people and dogs around it. These dogs can bite 
and they can cause significant harm, even death. Can a Corso full bite force could not only tear flesh, but can also break bones. Don't get a can a Corso if you can't give him a job. This breed needs mental stimulation, in addition to regular training and exercise. The can a Corso is far stronger with a bite force of 700 pounds per square inch which is higher than that of a lion. The can a Corso is widely regarded as one of the strongest dog breeds in the world. Thanks to its very strong bite force and slightly larger size and more muscular build, it's easy to conclude that the can a Corso is indeed stronger than a Rottweiler. This breed is capable of jumping 6 feet. Anyone who may trespass into your yard will not be welcomed with this guard dog breed. I recommend all Can A Corso owners to put a fence of 6 feet or more. Number 1. Pitbull. That said, Pitbull attacks can cause a lot of damage due to their size, strength, and determination. Pitbulls also have an incredibly strong jaw that allows them to clamp down on their target, leading many victims of Pitbull bites to say the dog would not let go. Many states in the US banned pit bulls because they found them to be aggressive and dangerous with a bite force of 235 pounds per square inch. In the past, people raised pit bulls as fighting dogs. So, they were aggressive towards other dogs. Sometimes, the aggressions were also towards humans. People often say the way a pit bull behaves depends on his owner and upbringing, which is really true for any pet. This is a situation where nature versus nurture comes into play. While a dog's genetics could potentially predispose it to behave in unwanted ways, genes are not the only factor that comes into play when a dog's personality is being formed. They believe that they are used as fighting dogs due to their physical strength, muscles, and the power of their jaws. They are then raised in an environment to induce aggression, and this is what causes their behavior. I repeated this. If you don't want to adopt these dangerous dogs, you can adopt the small dogs because these are easy to train and not harmful for your family you just click on the right and watch the smallest dogs breeds and you can also watch the best beginner snake pets that are easy to adopt don't forget to subscribe my channel